picture rail not only provides another decorative element to the wall, but it gives you the flexibility to position your wall hanging wherever you like, rather than relying on solid fixing, such as the stud in the wall. Now a common question is, how high should my picture rail be? Well in an older Victorian style home, three to 500 millimetres from the ceiling is about right, but in more modern day homes, even such as our set here, we have a 2400 ceiling, so we'll line the picture rail up with the top of the architrave above the door. Now to get the position of your picture rail, you can level a line across from the top of the door, but the issue with that is if your ceiling is slightly out of level and you put the picture rail in level, it's going to look crooked. A better idea is just to cut a spacer block out of a scrap piece of timber to the equal distance from the top of the door architrave to the ceiling and then just use that as the spacer. If you come up to an internal corner like this one and you'd like to return your picture rail around the corner, now that joint can either be mitered or scribed. Now I prefer to use a scribe joint because that will allow for any walls that are out of square. And if you've got a long straight run that's actually longer than the longest piece of timber that's available, ideally you should join it with a splice joint.